hello so it is cooking with anto here i know i have been gone for a while had some life issues going on they're all fixed so um i'll be posting videos every single monday since i've been gone for a while i have two videos that i'm going to be posting tomorrow monday it's actually sunday father's day right now so both of the videos i'm posting is something that i made for my husband for father's day and um, one of them is his favorite dish i've been making it for years so um, I did read a lot of my messages. I had been gone for a while, so I had tons of messages. A lot of them from people who were saying last year, I said I would be doing a lot of grilling recipes and you know, chilling outside by the pool and doing videos of that, and they asked why I never did it. Well, basically, time flies and then you forget. So I haven't done it this year yet because we're just starting to get the pool clean. It took forever. Um, I noticed, hmm. Okay, so do you see that balloon up there? That's been there since my birthday in early May. And no one in this house, like my husband and I, we, we don't want to get a ladder to reach it. So uh, we're placing bets how long one of us is going to cave in. I bet you that balloon will be there for my birthday next year when I turn 36. Wow, I veered off course here. It's because I kept seeing the balloon when I'm trying to look into the camera. Anyway, so I'm going to take you a trip outside. Okay, so I did have a few people who were also interested in seeing my vegetable garden. So this year it isn't super awesome. Um, you know, I was sick for a while, so it took a lot of effort to actually plant what I have out there planted. And my mother had helped me put a lot of it out because I was um, unable to do it myself. So anyway, I'm going to show you we have some red peppers here. These are all pepper plants. They all kind of look the same. Okay, so these are all, we have red, yellow, and orange, no, I'm sorry, red, orange, and green peppers here, and then I have some broccoli, I love broccoli, and then we have Roma tomatoes, I'm a huge fan of Roma tomatoes, and then um, we have a couple of cherry plants here, so this section looks kind of dead, and that's because I have that purple basil, I don't know if you can see it good, okay, I'm going to use that for a recipe tonight, so that's going to be taken out, and then on this tiny little section here is going to be um, all of my herbs and stuff like that. And then the rest of the yard is empty. We're going to put like a, um, it's actually a pretty big yard, but we're going to put, um, a swing set back there for my daughter. And then I have my like two grills and stuff. So let me show you why I didn't do, I haven't done like a, um, grilling, um, pool recipe or just chilling like I promised I would do last year and didn't do. And it's because we haven't had a chance to like fix the area. So I don't know. It's kind of hard for you to see from this angle, and that's because um, of the way my camera is. I probably should have done it in the other direction, but anyway, if you can kind of see, so we haven't even put the ladder back. Uh, it's like sitting on the diving board, and then if I show you the water, so it's not too bad here. There's still some like dirt on the, you know, in the front of the pool, but as we get to the deep end where there, where it's eight feet, that's where a lot of it pools, especially when you go down the slide, it gets all crappy and dirty. So I've, been, I mean, this has been taking us days to clean. And then we had to like worry about vacuuming all this out here and then placing all of the patio furniture out here and the lounge chairs. So once I have that all set up, I'm going to do like a barbecue episode. I may even do one. I throw a huge 4th of July party every year. So I may even record on that day and just have a bunch of my friends included into the video. Probably be pretty awesome. You know, I do promise. I don't want to be one of those people who break promises. I do absolutely promise that I will be posting grilling um, recipes and things of that nature um, you know some nice easy fresh summer recipes like that and um, so every Monday we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing a new video every Monday and um, since I've been gone for such a long time I'm choosing to actually put two videos up this Monday so the first one's going to be they're gonna be you know both posted at the same time so it's because I've made both of those recipes and the first one is a um, bacon wrapped stuffed jalapeno peppers delicious and then the second one is like a deconstructed cordon chicken cordon bleu so yeah because... if you're if you actually clicked on the video for the stuffed jalapenos and you're like what is she talking about chicken for click on that because that's also a new video okay and um, if you clicked on the link for the um, chicken deconstructed chicken cordon bleu and you're like what is she talking about jalapenos for click on that video because it's a new video and I'm using this as an intro to um, both videos it's just easier that way I'll probably do intros like this more often instead of just standing like a lump of dump in front of my kitchen island and talking too much I'm still talking too much but whatever everybody here is kind of used to me by now and if you're not oh well all right so stay tuned for the two videos sorry I've been gone for a while so just remember 
Every single Monday, I'll be posting a new video every single week. If you have something specific you would like for me to make and I'm able to make it, I will do so. If I've never made it before, I'll test it out in my kitchen and then I'll post it and see how it comes out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and so you can see what, um, what comes next. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks. All right, so let's get started on the recipe. Obviously, we have stuffed jalapenos. So you want to pick ones that are fresh but not so hard, if that makes sense. You know when you pick up a jalapeno from the supermarket, you press it and they're really hard? Try to get ones that feel a little softer, only because it won't take as long to cook. This is what one, some of the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need pre-cooked bacon that you're gonna do. <clears throat> then you're gonna need cream cheese. So we have our bacon, cream cheese, jalapeno peppers, and um, mild or sharp cheddar cheese. Whatever cheese you would like, really. You don't have to use cheddar. Okay, and gloves. Uh, no, these are not doctor's gloves. These are actually food safe. Um, gloves and they have them in different colors like aqua and I think I've seen some in pink so um you're gonna need gloves because if this touches if the seeds touch your skin it's gonna burn I mean I, some people don't get the reaction I do so, of course okay. you start from the stem side okay and if you like it spicy you want to leave some seeding behind if you're like me and you don't want spice but you just want the taste of the pepper then you would remove the seeds so you start up on the top and try to get your knife to the middle Oops, try to get your knife to the middle so you're not making one, one portion smaller than the, other, than the other. Okay, now when you open it up, what do you see? A bunch of seeds, right? And then you see the stem in the middle. So the seeds is what carries the heat, okay? So if you like extreme heat, then you would leave the seeds in. If you don't, like me, you would just kind of pull them out, okay? And I say pull them out first because also, I don't know if you can see this membrane here, this little membrane, the stem, that's what holds the stem from the top. That also carries heat. So if you want to remove the seeds and then only use um, the part of the membrane and still leave some heat, you can do that, but at least get rid of some of it so you can stuff, put your stuffing inside. So me, I'm going to remove completely the membrane. So, my God, I'm so traumatized. I'm like afraid to touch these seeds. <clears throat> okay. So what you would do is you would bring your knife, okay, and it's kind of important to have a decent knife. I mean, you don't have to use the chef knife that I'm using, but you want to have a good knife because you don't, you don't want to struggle removing the membrane, but you also don't want to leave any of it on if you're not looking for heat, okay? If, you're, if you don't mind some kind of heat, then don't worry about it. So what I mean by cleaning this out good is if you're not good working with a chef knife, because some people have a hard time using a, a knife this big, but I've been using it for years. You would take like a small, see this here, small like um, like a paring knife, and then you can use that to completely remove it if you wanted to. So okay. now we're gonna do our stuffing. How much cream cheese? Four ounces, but as always, I always include my, and about a half a cup of this. So about a half a cup, that seems, that seems to be about a half a cup to me. So me, I like a little more flavoring to mine. I'm gonna do like a pinch of garlic powder, maybe a little more, and then, I also, you don't want to add any salt, definitely don't want to add any pepper, right? Because we already have these jalapenos to worry about. So it's not like these are going to be super duper mild. You're going to have like very, very minimal heat. All right, so you're going to take a fork, a strong fork, or I don't use a whisk because for me, um, uh, it's really hard to go in here with a whisk and then you have all that stuff that gets stuck. So it's, you know, the cream cheese has been softened. I've had it sitting out on my counter for about a half an hour. Um, so it is easy to work with and then once I get it all mixed up then I'll bring out the spoon so, so we'll take the filling here okay use your hands when they're clean you can use your hands don't worry about it I mean I, I have this thing where I wash my hands so much while I'm cooking so you see that okay so you're gonna do this you're gonna wrap it firmly I started too far back there we go so you're gonna wrap the bacon around firm Firmly, as firmly as you can. Okay, maybe I should have started the water, the wider part out. But what you do is, if you run out of a piece on your bacon, you just press it here and, and remember where you left off too. You want to remember where you left off, so that this way you can um, place it down and it doesn't come undone. This bacon so piece looks much, much longer. I should have used this bacon piece for this for the other one. Okay, so here we go. So you snip around, and then 
I personally, I like to secure it only because, you know, if it becomes undone, then your filling, you have a chance of your filling falling out. And, you know, who wants jalapenos without filling? That really defeats the purpose. So we'll put one more here. Okay. And then that's it. So I All right, so this is what they look like when they're wrapped, okay? So... I can't believe it myself. I uh, like even when I'm about to say it, it doesn't even sound like myself, but I ran out of bacon. So what I did was I sliced them and then I just covered the tops of them. I hope that filling doesn't come out. How long in the oven? I don't know. Everybody's oven's different. Yours could be better than mine where it heats up quicker and it cooks quicker and mine could be better than yours. So just take a look. I would say 10 minutes would be the minimum especially because the bacon is pre-cooked. If you open it up in 10 minutes and it looks like the filling's coming out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your oven, put it on a broil, put this as close to the top of your oven you can to crisp up that part of the bacon while you leave your oven door slightly open because if you use broil with your oven door closed, it's gonna burn it. You know, letting some of the air out is releasing some of that heat but allowing it to get crispy if that makes sense to anybody. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Well, silly me, I forgot to mention uh, why I do this with my pan. So if you see here, this is a cookie rack, right? I have tons of these, not only just for baking cookies and letting them cool, but for cooking bacon in the oven and things that need heat underneath without this sitting in grease. So obviously this has bacon on it, right? And if you put it on top of a surface when you try to cook it, it's gonna sit in its own grease and it's not gonna get crispy underneath. So when you have this, it allows air to get underneath. It's not sitting in its own fat and it's gonna be more um, crispier. So this is why I cook it. And of course, I put the aluminum foil underneath so that this way we don't have all the bacon fat and everything sitting on the pan. You have to scrub all that. You don't wanna deal with uh, you know heavy cleaning when you've done heavy cooking, especially. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. You can see the cream cheese and cheddar cheese all melted and gooey inside, and the bacon's at the perfect consistency. You don't want to make the bacon too crispy because then you're just going to eat most of your bacon. It's going to fall off while people are trying to get to the middle of it. You also don't want your bacon to be too soft because people are going to be tugging and pulling on the fatty side. And again, everything will just break apart. So you need like a perfect balance. This in the oven took about 15 minutes. Um, on the grill, it'll take about five to seven on a medium high heat, 350 in the oven. All directions, ingredients list is always at the bottom of the video. You just click the little arrow and it pops up and everything gets listed for you. Okay, so if you try this recipe and you like it, please let me know. Click like on the video. And if you would be so kind to share my video around and uh, my channel too, share it. And then this way it can reach more people and hopefully gain more subscribers. That'd be really cool. Anywho's, hope you like this video. And again, as always, thank you for watching. Bye.